okay in this video we're talking about uh, javascript displaying output or you can say js displaying output okay so you have about uh, basic four outputs okay so let me create html because we'll be writing most of our javascript in html so it will look more organized and i've created external javascript but in the case of this illustration i will use uh, internal uh, javascript which is using script elements uh, script element inside the script element now uh, I'll be writing a simple JavaScript uh, let me say uh, let me create a variable and then add the two variable okay let me say var a uh, var a var a is equal to is equal to two then I will also say var var uh, let me say var b is equal to let's say three okay i've created the two variables then let me sum it let me make it a sum then i'm gonna save uh uh i'm gonna save uh uh the sum uh equal to a a plus equal to a plus b a equals to uh sum equals to a plus b okay, this will be our sum okay so whenever i call this sum whenever i print this sum on kind of uh a lot or consider this sum you will see the the uh, it will add this number because this two number have assigned to this a and b so what i will now do now is to uh illustrate the four and displaying the four basic displaying outputs okay Okay, so what I wanna do <clears throat> first of all, I will start with console.log. Let me minimize. Let me uh, reduce the size of this my screen and open my Chrome. Okay, every like Chrome browser have um, it has a uh, a uh, what is it called a cons a developer console.log. Okay, you can also make use of that to display your outputs. So to do that, what you have to do now, let me do something. Uh, let me first of all connect to the let me connect to the live server so i can i will be live in my browser so to connect that i'll say one okay it's already cached here okay i'm not connected to my this i'm not con the browser is not connected to this server this our server live server okay so what i will now do is i will open my console.log just just to open the uh, developer mode just click these dots go to your more tools then navigate to um where the, you can see developer tool you can actually do control shift i uh i i think l or i i i yeah 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 i then or you can just do it this way these dots more tools and then uh developers tools when you enter the developer tools you will see um you see distance so what we're, we're going to is this console you can see the console if you click this button now can see other things but what we are targeting now is this console.log this console okay well, let me widen the screen so you see what i mean this con is always found if you widen your screen you will see this list element console source and network but what we want to work with is this console let me create let me you know that i'm clean this thing okay no, i can maybe i cannot clean it so what we are targeting is this console okay and our our code is not linked okay so let me open it again uh i think it's control shift uh what is it called control shift i i think yeah control shift uh control shift i okay yeah control shift i then i'll open it if you don't want to use shortcuts you just go to these dots you just go to these dots inside these dots you go to more tools and then click developers to still the same thing so what i want to do now i want to I want to console log this uh this our code now so i will now say console.log uh console.log uh console.log you open a para uh, parameter or you can call it a parenthesis inside the parameter inside the parenthesis you now add what you want to console out so i want to console log i want to console log sum okay you can see the output here can see the output here is to and print out five inside the console.log you can see that then if i if i change the value here to maybe say six 
you can see it changed it to 8. How about uh, making this one now 20? You can see 20, just add it up 20 plus 6, giving us 26. This is inside a console.log, kind of inside a console. Okay. So, having done, having talked about this, let me clear this, let me close it. Okay. So, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the one called alert. Okay. Uh, is, most people used to call it uh, um, kind of using a dialog bus. A dialog bus, it will just pop up in the screen. Then it might create, it might just click OK or just cancel. Then it will disappear. So let me just do that. So to do that, to use that um, sort of um, um, displaying output, you all you have to do just type in a lot. Type in a lot. Open your uh, parentheses. It will accept the argument of. <coughs> You just put the argument which is what you want to alert. The reason why you are still seeing it here is because my uh, we have our live server. The live server just picked this alert. This is an empty alert. Okay. So let's just put in the uh, our sum. Our sum is the combination of A and B. So let's put in sum inside. Says so we put sum inside now. Let's, let's say okay let's refresh the page and see what happens you can see it will just print out 26 okay this one what it does this uh, output what it does is just is print it's just pop up a uh, dialog box in the screen that is what it does okay so if you change the value now let me say let me change it to 40 okay you must click ok and then refresh before uh, it just refresh it will just print that sentence out okay so the next one is using um, writing to HTML elements. Okay. For instance, now let me close this and then let me just clean this our alerts. Okay. For instance, now I want to print the answer, this uh, some answer to our HTML. Let's let me close this dialog box. Let's take for instance, um, let me create let me create something inside the body elements. Let me say something like header one, hash one. So I want to print uh, something inside this header one. Let me say something like, um, uh, let's say hello. This is hello. This you see this place that hello world is displaying now. I want that place instead of displaying hello world. I want it to be displaying the answer from this our script. So what I will now do, I will just screen this hello. Then come inside this our header one first tag and then use um ID. Let me give space. Give it an ID. Okay, ID name. Let me just give it. A, let me say answer. Let me say A N A N S for answer. Short term for answer. Okay. Then what I will now do is I will come inside this our inside this our code inside this our script. What I will now do now is I have given it um, this header one ID. What I will now do I will say documents. Uh, there are documents. Uh, document. Let me just paste this script. So there are more space here. Yeah. So what I will now do, I will say document dot uh, get element by ID. Then you open your parenthesis and put the the uh, put quotes, double quotes. Some sometimes you might put a uh, single quote, but I prefer using double quotes. Then you put the name of the ID. Our ID name is ANS, which is a short term for answer. Then after typing that, you now type dot um, inner HTML dot in html equal to then you now set it equal to this sum here you now set the value any the whole value here which means you are setting the this html equal to this so what means what that means that every answer you are getting from this your sum from this your script will be displayed in this header one so what i will now do i will just assign it straight to the 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 variable called sum okay so what let's see what happened you can see the answer is now 60 okay so if I change anything, if I input anything, let me say if I input uh, say 50 now, it will just it will just update automatically because we're on live server. You can see the this is another this is the third kind of output. What if I say something like uh, 50? How about if I say something like two? You can see the update 20 plus two. How about 20 plus one? 21. How 20 plus 20, 20 plus five? 25. 20 plus seven. 27 you can see the updates okay so having said this now then we have another uh, type of uh, display okay that one is is called um, uh, document I think that should be that is documents dot rights yeah that's another way of um, um, 
document that is another way of writing something to your screen okay so to do that that one is very simple so to do that let's say uh we'll clean this one we no need of um doing this let's just screen it we'll just screen it and inside this place we we'll use um we say document dot write uh document dot write document dot write then you open your parameter then inside this your parenthesis and you now put this sum again to write the sum in the screen let's put the sum you can see to so just write it this is the fourth type the fourth type of this um javascript display you can see the way it's printed out in the screen because if you change anything, if I update anything, let me just if I remove make two plus uh, seven, you can see it automatically updates. Okay, let me say if I put something like ninety, you can see it it automatically updates. Okay, so that is how this um, uh, uh, document dot write works. So another thing I want to talk about this one is a bonus. Uh, it's not actually part of the four major one. This, uh, this one is a kind of uh, if you want to run a code that is inside your uh, actually inside your uh, JavaScript file which is a standard it will not be inside this place you can actually use node to do that within this VS code I will show you how to do it but it's outside of what we are saying here let me just clean this document that's right but it will only be viewed it will be viewed inside the uh, terminal so let me just um, let me just copy this and then open our index.html Inside our index.html, just type in, I'll just paste it there, control V. It will just, this code will just be pasted. So if I want to run it, I'll just open my terminal. Because I've already installed node, just install node. When you install node, after when you download node, install it. Then if you have installed the node, when you go, just go to your terminal. Let it boot, let it just load. I don't know why it's taking much time. Uh, why it taking much time? Why are you taking much time? Let's give it time to load. Let me, let me delete it and refresh and create a new one. Um, uh, load. Why are you taking so long time to load? Uh, just load, just load, just load. Fast, fast, fast. Ah, my system is slow. Okay, so now this is inside our um, Java. This is inside our terminal. Okay, in in, in Video Studio, in Visual Studio Code. So if I want to learn this JavaScript, all I have to do is just type in Node. Just type in Node. But first of all, make sure you install your Node. Okay, okay. I download the Node and install it. Then type in the name of the file. Just say index. You might you might forget about the extension, but a good practice you might just add dot the extension which is dot JavaScript. But uh, for me, I don't normally add it. Just type the name of the file that you want to, the JavaScript file that you want to run. The node just, the node, node always run any JavaScript file to just run it. Okay, once the code there is runnable, to just run it. So just what we, once you type this, just type in enter. Uh, node index. Uh, why is it not responding? It's supposed to respond. Uh, let me. Why is it? Let me say node. Um, how about say node index? I think I typed something that in index node index dot js node index dot js supposed to run. Uh, why is it not running? My inside PowerShell. Uh, Supposed to supposed to learn. Uh, let me see. Let me see why it's supposed to learn. Let me say node, node js, not node js, node um, index. Supposed to run. Uh, for just let's just skip this. Let's just leave this. Okay, let's leave this. Let's leave this, because I have to. I really need to do. We are just deviating inside the node. But you, if you know node, you can actually learn um, uh, node. You can actually learn JavaScript file inside the node. Very, very, very much easy stuff. Very, 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 very easy. But you have to create your init file. Just you have, you have to initiate your file, and then generate some JSON. But that is a long story. It's not something we can talk about. It. Just leave it. 
let's keep it by the side okay so this is how to display you they just make use of this for um um for display uh javascript display outputs I think this four is more than enough okay to carry us along this our our javascript uh, uh, uh tutorials so most of most in this our tutorial we most will be uh, using um uh what is it called we'll writing to the to the windows through a uh, document dot right we we'll use elements and we we'll also use uh dialogue which is a lot console.log we might not really use uh console.log then this thing that i'm saying no no dodges we will not even use it at all okay so don't just forget about it okay having said that um thank you for watching see you in the next video